look, oh, look at that. That's my grandson. <laughs> And he brought his drum. He is a percussion major at Furman. How'd you talk him into coming? Hi, look with your own with your own door that, that opens that is up. My grandchild, Matt. Hi, that's grandson, all. Matt. <laughs> that's my, well, that's, that's I mean, Matt's Josh, son, Josh. Josh. That's Josh. He a, yes. He's a rising uh, senior at Furman. Y'all talked him into coming and bringing the drum. Hey, he's, buddy. Hi, Josh. I get a hug. I hope at some point. <laughs> you'll 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 get a hug, guys. One of my great grandchildren. Yeah. Well, the announcement is this: I've been here uh, 39 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had dark hair. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been here since Fred Cunningham had hair. <laughs> I mean, you know, that was a long saying? time ago, too, right? And of course, my main goal as being on uh, TV Seven and this talk show with you for 17 years is praying that uh, when you're sitting there watching us on the tube, that my sweaters don't clash with your draperies. <laughs> you know, I try not. Mm -hmm. I, I, I try to deliver. I try not to disappoint. But uh, I've, uh, we don't talk about certain things on air, but I've, I've turned 76 years of age. My health is good. Yeah. My brain still works. Uh -huh. The jokes maybe aren't quite as funny, <laughs> and I've kind of run out of good jokes. So I'm thinking it's time to officially retire. Mm. But uh, I do have some plans. Okay. And I wanted to share those with you. And you, you know how much I love you. I know. It's been a good good term. We brought Jamarcus on. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy and y'all gonna carry on with this thing. But, And I have plans. Uh, they, The boss man's been good to me. Good. And uh, I have some plans to return as a guest and bring things to the show. But but I did want to tell you a couple of things. Uh, again, uh, oh, I'm, look I'm at gonna, you, Roper. Is that me? <laughs> That's you. Oh my gosh, I had darker hair. <laughs> Never had dark hair, but no, I had darker, darker hair. darker, weatherman Jack. That's how I first remember you, Robert. Where you get this video? Look at that. You that know? Was, that was when my belly was a little bigger than that. And you wore ties. What? I wore neckties. Uh -huh. And I, I hated neckties. <laughs> I'll never forget when the boss, the old boss years ago, called me and said, Jack, you can't wear uh, sport coats anymore. you got to wear a suit. And I'm thinking, what about those three dozen loud sport coats I have? Uh, they get go rid out of the them. door. No, you have to wear a suit now. I remember that. That was 30 years ago. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Look at all this. Isn't this so oh. fun? <laughs> well, again, you got some flashbacks. I didn't know you were going to show all this stuff. Yes, look at. We had Doppler. You were... When we introduced that. I, 30, I did weather 22 oh. years. Kid Sizzle. My oh. Kid show. <laughs> is that Truck Stop Granny? Yeah, and that Jocko is the... the Clown. <laughs> oh, we my God. We had a kid show that ran five years called uh, Kid Sizzle. That, that you booked fun. all the guests, you did all the production, you did, did everything. Well, that's the hardest job I ever had. Ever had in your life. That kid show, but you know what? It, it, it's the most, I guess it's really the joy of my life for 39 years was entertaining those kids. And we brought on guests, we brought on people with pets. You know, we brought on some uh, kid-oriented uh, topics. We played games. There's the old uh, eat the donut on the string game. I, I invented some of these things and I see them later on TV. They bring them back right. on national because TV Because they saw show. you. No, I doubt that. No, they anyway. did. Uh, yep. We had a good time. I didn't, hadn't seen this video in a long time. Oh my gosh, look at the, the OGYC. <laughs> The, now, who is this now? Yeah, this is the OGYC. The, when you first, when, you, when what, we first started in, when we started in 2007. That's right. Yes, back at 7 on Main. Remember, we actually had to start at. at Kimberly, uh, Kelly, yeah. who is the man, the guest? We started on the I other side know, of the right? bridge. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we don't know. One of our, our 10,000 guests that, that we've had. Well, you know, Kimberly has a restaurant now in Pickens. Mm -hmm. She opened a restaurant in Pickens. I saw the other, other day, in fact. Uh. But let me, I wanted to tell you a few yeah. things. Uh, I, I'm not going away. Like I say, my, my health is good. Good. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of months of serious vacation, but the boss man has given me permission to come back. Good. And as a guest and entertain with my magic again. So I'll be coming back on the show. Okay? I'm not going away. You better not, because I can't, I can't do this without you. And Well, yeah, I'd, I'd miss y'all. But and I'm, I'm hoping to maybe come back and, you know, I. The band, I'll book the band uh -huh. continually. I'll do magic shows, and I urge people to ca call on me. Let me help with a benefit to raise money for your charity. I'll come do a free magic show. Yeah. I love that. You're, I want to do more of that. You seriously one of the most generous people I've ever well, met in my entire that. Well, You are, I Jack. Do, I have a good time doing this. But what I was going to say was, hopefully I can bring back videos yeah. from the places I entertain of people waving, yeah. you know, selfies, and maybe come back on the show and plug weekend festivals and Love events. It. Come back on the show and do that. So the boss has been good to me. 